Tonight's inside story could be dubbed the case of the cursed ring. Avery Haynes now with one woman's hilarious attempts to get rid of her old engagement ring. Avery. Well, Gord, uh, Charlene has for the past few years been trying to close the chapter on her failed marriage by getting rid of the symbol of that marriage. That would be the ring. Her most recent attempt is so unique that when I stumbled across it on Kijiji, where she had uh, posted her ad, I drove all the way to Guelph to meet her and find out more. It's an online treasure trove of deals and steals. If you scroll through the for sale section, you'll find computers, furniture, toys, all for a song. If you dig deep enough, you might even stumble upon a hidden gem with um, supernatural powers. Enchanted implies something positive. Mm -hmm. Some might say it's cursed. Some might say it's cursed. The ring has magical powers that's going to make my marriage end. That's right, a used engagement ring to make your marriage end. But it can do so much more than just that. If your motivation for popping the question is any of the following, this ring is for you. Family pressure, religious pressure, she's knocked up, citizenship issues. In three to five years, the ring's powers will kick in. So this is clearly not your typical sales pitch, but it might just be the perfect purchase for that not so special someone. If you're not sure that she's the one you want to spend forever with, or if you see marriage being bearable only with an end date, this ring is for you. The power of this ring? Well, it runs long and it runs deep through not one, but two failed marriages. His mother always told us, you know, you should get engaged. I have a ring you can use. It's perfect. Perfect, except for the little fact that this ring has a peculiar knack for shortening that promise of till death do us part. My ex-father-in-law gave it to my ex-mother-in-law, then a few years later ran away to start a new family in Asia. She kept the ring and gave it to my ex-husband who gave it to me. A few years later, he's in California living it up. An already divorced ring used to fulfill the theme of something old, something new, something borrowed. Some would call that a dangerous collision of superstition and tradition. Did it worry you at all to be putting on a ring from a marriage that hadn't worked? I wasn't worried at all. It's the rational philosophy thing. How can the spirits possibly <laughs> get into this ring and force things to happen? Yet once that ring was slipped on her finger, it took just four years to go from hitched to ditched. Charlene wiped her tears and tried to sell the ring on Kijiji. You decided after the end of the marriage that it was time to get rid of the ring. I did. Get some cash for it. Get some cash for it. Close the chapter. I don't need this anymore. It's worth something. I could get nice things for that something. That was two years ago. There were no takers. So now that the divorce papers have just been filed, Charlene is taking yet another stab at selling the ring. So I thought if I put it out there in a hilarious way, somebody might buy it. No one wants your ring. No one wants my <laughs> ring. <laughs> An astounding number of people, more than 1,800, have viewed this ad on Kijiji and still no takers. So this inside story on City News was the one shot, the best shot of getting rid of that cursed ring. And then it pulled one last and very devious trick the night before this interview. Like heart stop, choking, feeling, <laughs> oh my God, I have to have this for tomorrow. Preparing for this interview, Charlene gathered these old wedding pictures. She got part of her dress, as well as, of course, that cursed ring. I found the ring box. I found the wedding band. I found the certificate of appraisal, but no ring. The ring is gone. The ring is gone. I searched through absolutely every single bag. I searched through every drawer. I searched through every box. I have every other piece of jewelry that I own except for this ring. So what happens now in your search to get rid of the cursed, enchanted, cursed ring? This current attempt has failed. And should it pop up again, <laughs> then I will have to write something even better. <laughs> and just so you know that Charlene is right now finishing up her PhD in philosophy and metaphysics. She says she knows there is no such thing as a causal effect mm. between a metal and what happens in the physical world. Well, of course not, but she better phone Hollywood because it sounds like a movie here. <laughs> Mm -hmm. so, but you know, Kijiji is so amazing, and you've seen these Craigslist ads that come up every now and again. Yeah. These really brilliant people trying to find creative ways to get rid of their mm -hmm. stuff. And here she has a shot at getting rid of it by sharing her. Close, but no cigar. No, All maybe right. we'll have to check for mm -hmm. Kijiji to see if there's another one. Yep, you can reach out to Avery on Twitter, at City Avery. The Inside Story runs every Tuesday and Thursday on City News. All segments are up on our website, citynews.ca.